All right, so we're back with the only game that hasn't mastered grammar but somehow manages to charge $150 in DLCs. It's Fly Wings 2018. What do I say? What do I say about this game that hasn't already been said in the description of it? What's it say here? Uh, Fly Wings 2018 Flight Simulator is the masterpiece of flight simulation. Fasten your seatbelts and be ready for the most realistic and beautiful flight of your life. So that, that gives you some idea, but to really understand, like when you start to look into the game description, it says mission game mode is a real challenge and it is really amazing in this simulator. ATC talks, cool and addicting gameplay. You are gonna love it. <laughs> Who talks like that in their own game in the description area? Good afternoon, this is your captain speaking with just a little flight information. Just sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of the flight. Thank you for the flight information. There's your there's your voice actor. 10 out of 10 so far. So it says you can see the Empire State Building and all these different monuments. So we're going to crash a, an Airbus into them or something. Apparently, you could play as all sorts of different random items like this tiny ultralight. Never mind. I've decided we're going to utilize this hideous beast in order to create havoc. Weather. Sad. Uh, wind. A lot. Alrighty, so here we are. It almost looked like it just dropped the asset directly on the landing strip, which is fine. I don't know, has anyone ever been inside of a Beluga XL before? Is this legit? I think they put a lot of effort in this part. Alrighty, we're preparing for takeoff. Go ahead and uh, throw the accelerators onto maximum. <laughs> it's got a little Beluga whale face on it. Very cute. What's, what's uh, up and down in this game? Right over here from the air traffic control tower. You're going to notice as the storm clouds roll in, a giant psychotic plane begins to make its way down the runway. There's the uh, there's the pilot right now taking off into the sky. We're going to go ahead and go straight up because why not? I'm sure everything will be just fine. I think you can retract the landing gear. Uh, yeah, it's working. All right, so here we are up in the air. We're doing pretty good. Uh, everything looks all right. Now, supposedly, you can simulate problems with the aircraft such as engine oil leak, piston failure, engine fire, and engine damage. Sure, let's go with an engine fire. Doesn't seem too bad. Actually, it's not really flaming very much at all. This is like the limpest engine fire I've ever seen. You know what, screw it, we're gonna put everything on. There we go. All right, now there's a little bit of a problem. There's definitely some, um, there's definitely some drag in the beluga now. I probably should have gotten to the Empire State Building first before this happened. You could see the city skyline over there in the distance. I really don't know if we're going to make it. Tom Hanks Simulator. Go. Okay, I've got quite a bit of fire right now. A um, little bit more fire than I had previously anticipated. I'm going to go ahead and throw down the landing gear. I'm sure everything will be just fine. The landing gear takes like three minutes to come out, of course. We've got some really nice soft areas down here to land in. Uh, this lovely industrial place couple of residential homes. If we can get right into the highway, I think that would be the best possible landing. This is the only time that you're ever going to see a beluga land in the highway. Okay, maybe land wasn't the right terminology. I may kind of, oh, nope, it's fine. We're good. This is probably really freakish. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Did you see the JPEGs, the moving JPEGs that were the, the populace? What the hell? What is this? You can continue your flight at a safe point. All you need to do is watch a 30 second video. Wait, is this like an ad or is this like a, a plane safety video? Uh, it's a video of me. <laughs> Touchdown. Gray still plays. We made it right there. Apparently the freaking audio resets every time you play. So I have to mention something real quick because we had exploded before I got to uh, appropriately show you guys this. I thought that the vehicles and stuff were real 3D models. It's just like tiny little animated flat images sliding along the ground. This is it. FedEx has gone postal. What happens if you hit the, uh, if you hit the Statue of Liberty with like just the tip, just the tip? Kind of curious what happens. Like, will I have to watch a 30 second safety video of myself dying again or, or what's the deal? All right, passengers, if you look straight ahead, you're going to see the glorious and luckily 3D asseted Statue of Liberty. Uh, we're going to try and bring it in nice and slow for a little flyby here. The water effects glistening in the foreground should be able to uh, just give her a little tap, a little love tap right on the butt. Right about there. Okay, plane goes right through the Statue of Liberty. 
didn't expect that. Okay, we're gonna smack that ass a little bit harder this time. Because apparently that, that wasn't good enough. So we'll drive the entire being right into- Crap. So like a hot knife through butter, the FedEx mobile can cut through anything. Ron Popeil's FedEx plane. Not even the Statue of Liberty can stop it. Alright, how about a bridge? This is straight out of Sully here, pretty much. Do we- is this okay? Is this gonna hurt? Nope. How about if I go right through the bridge? For the love of God, is there any interaction? Negative. Oh. It's such a silent death when you hit the ground. It doesn't make any noise or anything. You just catch on fire and everyone burns alive. Yep, just gonna set it right down inside of all the buildings. I think that counts as a landing right there. Did they, did they forget to put the ground on top of the bridge and bring the landing gear out uh, after we landed? Is that, is that how that works? Just coming in for a nice slow water landing with part of the random building levitating in the air. Beautiful cirrus clouds in the background. The cityscape of New York City and a FedEx Express jet just hydroplaning through the bay. And that right there is a successful landing. Let's try something else. Supposedly the most difficult airport in the world is located in Nepal. So let's go ahead and take American Airlines over there. Everyone loves American Airlines. What do you want? They needed a volunteer, right? I was it. I feel like this is a little dicey that they put the airport like right in front of this mountain, but whatever, I'm sure it'll be fine. Jesus, a little bouncy. <laughs> I can't, I can't even, oh God. All right, yep, it doesn't, you get, <laughs> oh, I teleported through the planet. We did it. I don't know how, but we're uh, currently at an elevation of like 30,000 feet. We seem to have run into the mountain and got launched into space. I... All right, let's try this again. This is why it's so difficult, because you only have like 30 feet of runway space. Hold on, maybe, maybe I can turn this and go the different direction. Okay, that's a negative. The uh, the plane is just nosedived into the pavement and it doesn't want to function at all. Like half of it exists right now inside of the cement. What did this game say again? Amazing environment, real physics. There's your physics. Maybe I just picked the wrong Nepal airport. Oh, this one's just dirt. <laughs> We couldn't spring for some uh, gravel or something or a little bit of blacktop. All right. Well, this is worse than the other one. Maybe we'll be able to take off on this one, though. I won't get stuck inside of the uh, inside of the cement. Every time you restart the game, the audio goes back to being completely out of control. There we go. I wasn't the one that got the plane up in the air. We just ramped off the mountain and that's how I got up here. So this is the uh, the interior of an American Airlines passenger beater mobile. Uh, look pretty good, pretty comfortable. You've got some very plush, like alpaca skin seats over here. Oh Jesus, hold on. Oh, cinematic view. Maybe we can get some, maybe we, I don't know, maybe I can get some acrobatics going on or something like that. I don't know what happens if you try and defy the abilities of these planes. Like if it'll just stall on its own or it'll tell you to go to hell. So we're gonna go ahead and do a full loop over here. We'll see if the plane is pissed off that we're doing this. Uh, I think it's treating us pretty good so far. Going a good uh, 90 miles an hour right now in a, a dive straight toward the ground. We should be able to save this like it's no big deal because this game is real physics, top notch environments. Do a little bounce off the ground right there and back up in the sky. Um, No casualties. I mean, not from not from crashing. Maybe from heart attacks. Okay, is that a is that a village in the side of a mountain? We're landing there. This thing's turning radius is terrible. The beluga was better. All right, here we go, right in this riverbed. Landing gear's coming on down. Slow things up a little bit. And now you just gotta kind of, the way the game works, just like ricochet off the ground a little bit and you'll be fine. A little bit right there. Perfect. There you go. Real physics right there. I decided to check out one of the missions. You get Google Translate as your instructor. It's an incredibly popular general aviation aircraft that's often used for training. Okay, I don't care. Tango, uniform, Sierra. Oh, we've got female uh, Google Translate now for the instructor. So I can't complete the mission because I can't go straight to the runway area because my landing gear has melted into the runway. I just noticed something. When you look from the third person, you have legitimate people inside the cockpit. Well, you know, air quotes, legitimate. I'm gonna use that term loosely. But when you go inside, there's no one here. So I decided to fly over here in Alaska. It doesn't spawn you in the airport. <laughs> I just 
spawn in the middle of the sky. I think I may have broken the game more than I break games typically because I, I can't even, how about if I take up the landing gear? Will it let me fly? Because now I would just be sitting on the ground. Nope, you know what? There, I do like all that. Will you crash or anything? Negative. I blame this on you two inside the cockpit. Yeah, you two. Hold on, watch your best flights moments. We never got anywhere, so let's see what it's like. Oh, the music. Oh. <laughs> Here's us looking at the uh, at the uh, landing gear, the beautiful landing gear. Oh, the music! Oh, I don't know if it's supposed to be doing this or if it's some sort of weird dubstep. There's the landing gear retracting, very glitchily, and uh, that's pretty much it. At that point, the game decided to kill itself. Maybe it's because I picked the wrong airport. That's probably what it is. Let's uh, let's try this one. Oh, here we go. See, this looks fantastic. Oh yeah. Everything's looking great. Simulation speed. What happens if you crank this all the way up? Oh, you just fly really fast. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try and bring this down right on top of a sailboat. They look like they're having too much fun because they didn't purchase this game. So I'm gonna have to teach these guys a lesson. How come the boats are 3D, but the cars aren't? We need to go slower. I get the feeling they just put more work into Alaska than they did into New York because everything looks a little bit better here. All right, just gonna take a little bit off the top. No big deal. In fact, I may even land here, because why not? All right, there we go. Perfect. Oh, I got a full engulfion this time. Come on, baby, get it, get it. Nope, doesn't really work. Oh, we're still, we're still okay. We, we ricochet off the ground and the vehicle is fine. We're only going 30 miles an hour. And right there, folks, that is real physics and a nice, soft, sad landing. Perfect, brought it right down. What would you do if as an air traffic controller, you saw this? Hold on, I gotta know. What are my flight's best moments this time? <laughs> Taking off. I guess I took off in the middle of the sky. Oh God, the music. Oh, it's so good. It's like the beating of my heart. Oh yeah, right around here is where the frame rate likes to, to crash. <laughs> That's one of the highlights. <laughs> and then the perfect 10 out of 10 landing. Fly Wings 2018. What can I say other than I hope there's not a 2019? So, yeah. I don't really know what I just played. Do I need a second chance? That's not the question. The question is, do I want a second chance? The answer is no. Anyway, folks, until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>